Hi, this is Brian from GoFries.com. Here with us today, right in the dark, is the Samsung Yes 4G Chromebook. Now I'm going to power on this notebook right now and you'll see how fast is the boot time. I've just pressed the on button and now it's loading. And there, we are at the desktop. Now all I need to do is just log in to my Google account. Yep, I'm in. Now although this device is 4G capable, I'm using my unified internet connection to get the best of the speed. To show you some things here, for example, I'd like to show you how uh, this device doesn't work too well when it comes to browsing of videos. It loads a video just fine, but here's what happens when you browse another tab. Ridiculous, isn't it? Don't get me wrong, the device works fine for general web browsing, but when it comes to more intensive browsing, like what I showed you just now, using one tab for playing a YouTube video to enjoy the soundtrack, music, you know, while browsing another web page on like Facebook or a forum. No, it's just not it's just not gonna work. Now I'm gonna show you something else, the funny things that I've encountered using this operating system. One of the things that I noted I have problem with was to view image now. Um, before that, these are the list of apps that are available here. You could actually browse for more apps in the store, yeah, which opens up Google Chrome again. But now let's go back to what I want to show you. Yeah, let's go to File Manager here. Right now I want to show you how this system is when it comes to viewing a picture. No, this is a typical image viewer just like what you see on any other operating system but here's the thing I've shown this to quite a number of people and I even tested it myself you can't find a way to zoom into the picture sure you could just control plus and if you look at it it says zoom at 500% up here you get a zoom interface but look at the image it's just blurred out which is really weird considering that you are already at 100% zoom but you are only zooming in to the to the interface on the interface but not the image yeah well you can zoom out like this see if you zoom out 25% right at 100% and it doesn't go beyond that which is ridiculous you can't view any small text now the next thing I'm going to show you is about the opening of PDF document. Now I like it the way it is on my Windows system where it opens the Acrobat Reader and in, if ever I need to do a presentation I'll prepare a PDF file, uh, do a full screen of my PDF document and I can go page after page no problem but this is not the case with this device. Sure it has a HDMI output but I was disappointed that my PDF file was open on a browser so there's no next no nothing you could there's no shortcut for you to full screen so you just have to click this button and as you can see though I designed my presentation to fit 72 OP it does not fill up nicely on this 16 by 9 screen probably due to the scroll bar so that's a major disappointing uh, disappointment for me. The neat thing about this Chrome OS is that Google has configured a lot of shortcuts. So let's look, have a look at it. You just press Control, Alternate question mark, and there's a an overlay that appears. It shows you 
what are the various shortcuts. So as you can see from the instruction there, hold control alternate shift or search to see keyboard shortcuts for those modifiers. So let's see, control alternate shift search. You could even do a combo of control alternate control sh alternate shift control shift. There's nothing here. Great, isn't it? So for example, you press function key, this search and it'll and it convert all the top row buttons into function keys. So in cases where you know when you're using Google Chrome, you know, on a Windows system, you if you remember, it's F11 for to maximize the screen. In this case, while they didn't indicate which shortcuts it to ma maximize the screen, if you use the search button, you can actually maximize it. Full screen mode. All right. So there you have it, shortcuts. One more thing I'd like to show you is how the system performs on more um, system intensive applications. For example, playing a Facebook game like the Sim Social. Okay, finally it's loaded, 100%. Uh, right now, when will the game appear? Okay, so finally we're in the game. I've abandoned abandoned my the Sims account for quite a while, so pardon the pardon the messy house. Okay. Doesn't seem too bad, right? Well, at least it's playable. Okay, so there you have it. Playable, but not impressive. Well, probably it's good that way. I mean, if you let your child use this uh, Chromebook, they are limited.
or at least they are not they face this kind of uh, limitation where it's not exactly enjoyable so there you have it this is what you get in the Chrome OS that's running on the Samsung Chromebook people have been asking me whether it's suitable for them to use it for their photography assignments and such I say no it's uh, great for Google environment like for example using Google Drive you know, Google Docs Chrome general browsing it's fine all that but it's just not something you use for serious work that's like I mean serious work that involve things like photo editing you know no of course um, serious work like responding to emails and such yeah why not it works perfect for that